If you look at Sokotoa, sine theta is so, a length of the opposite side divided by the length of hypotenuse. Cos is the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse, so that's 4 over 5. And tan is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side, so that's 3 over 4. So let's look at the real definition of sine. For most of this subject, hypotenuse will equal 1. So if sine equals opposite divided by hypotenuse, it equals opposite divided by 1. So sine theta just equals opposite, which is this one. Cos it equals adjacent over hypotenuse, which equals adjacent divided by 1. So cos theta equals the length of the adjacent side. So in summary, sine means the length of the opposite side, and cos means the length of the side next to theta. Why is it called cosine? Cosine is actually the sine of the other angle. You can think of co as in cooperation, where you have two things working together. This is sine 30, and this is cosine 30, and cosine 30 is just sine 60. So basically, cosine of 30 is the same as sine of 60. Cosine is the sine of the angle that adds up to 90, which is the same thing as what I said before with different words. So cos of 30 is the same as sine of 60. Cos of 60 is the same as sine of 30. Cos of 15 is the same as sine of 75. Cos of 2 is the same as sine of 88. Cos of 45 is the same as sine of 45. This is sine theta, and it's the length of this line opposite theta. Cos theta is the length of the line next to theta. If we know the angle, we know the length of these lines. If this is 50, the length of this line is cos 50. The length of this line is sine 50. If we've got something like this, we know that the length of this line is cos 65. And we know the length of this red line is sine 65. So what is tangent? The word tangent is a line which touches a circle only at one point. And tangent actually comes from a word which means touch and it's cut off by the x-axis, and it's been cut off by the radius here. So this purple line is tan theta. Tan also equals sine theta divided by cos theta. Tan equals opposite divided by adjacent. Here's the line opposite, which is the red line, which is sine theta, divided by the adjacent line, which in this case is cos theta. So radians and degrees. Well, one radian is actually made by wrapping the radius along the outside of the circle. So a radian is actually made by the radius, hence the name. Radians and degrees are both ways of measuring angles. You probably heard there's 360 degrees in a circle. There's also two pi radians in a circle. Think of pi as your reference point. And so if we split it down the middle to get 90 degrees, that would just be pi divided by two. And if we split it into thirds, this would just be pi divided by three. Divide it into quarters, six, twelfths, pi divided by twelve. So understanding radians. Circumference equals two pi r, r equals one. The circumference just equals two pi. If we measured all around this, the length around there would be two pi. So you can sort of think of radians as the distance around the circle. But we're measuring the angle, we're measuring this thing here. And that's it. I hope this has made sense of the unit circle and sine, cos, and tan.